Hey everybody, this is Chrissy from Crickets Chirps Farm and I'm going to try to do this video as quickly as possible. Um, I know how it can be to sit in on a super long video, so we're going to talk about quail's clumpy feet. I see this showing up a lot in the quail group and um, people trying to find a solution on how to get them off quickly and um, I think pretty much all of us have tried everything. We've sat there forever soaking them in water solutions and different types of solutions and then trying to pick and pick them off, losing little quail toes and little quail nails. And first of all, I'm gonna show you one of my, um, I have these Italian and Manchurian quail that are just gorgeous. This is one of my roosters, as you can see. One of my beautiful little roosters. It's okay, bud, I know. You don't know I'm trying to help you. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. First of all, for those who may not know what I'm talking about, um, it's this thing right here, if you can see that. And it's just horrible. I never had a problem with this before. Um, I've been doing quail for four years and it just started happening all of a sudden. I've seen other people saying the same thing. Um, I haven't had it on quail chicks. I keep my quail chicks on pine shavings, um, but I've seen other people saying that they have. Um, just my adults and I think it's because many of us have started putting them in like natural quail settings on um, sand and dirt and stuff like that. So I have now added pine shavings to mine to see if that helps with uh, being proactive. But for now, I have to get it off of my quail that have a tendency to getting this. Because that's another thing I've noticed is not all of my quail do this. Just some have a tendency. So here is the solution I found. It is basically vinegar. I um, have found the most success with the organic um, apple cider vinegar. Um, I find it to be less strong and harmful to the quail. I have soaked my own fingernails. Um, that I get hangnails and it doesn't hurt me at all. I did this to make sure that it's not hurting my quail. <laughs> and um, okay, so we're gonna take our little root here. We're gonna set his feet down in there. I um, do this without getting my quail wet because it is a pretty harsh winter here in Northern California. I know not as harsh as many other places, but obviously we don't want to get our quail wet because um, mine are outside and then put them out in the freezing cold all wet. So I just hold them here. Um, I have them in a little one cup measuring cup. The sand's up in there just perfect. Hi guy. They seem to know I'm helping them when I do this too. They just sit there nice and quiet. Um, I don't know, maybe it feels good on their feet, but they seem to like it. Um, you will see until I pick him up to come out of here, then he's gonna thrash and kick his feet. A lot of times after I stand them up in here um, and they thrash and kick their feet, these clumps, um, it gets it off so well, they'll go flying off of their feet. I actually don't like this to happen because sometimes their little nails will go with the clumps when they do this too fast if it hasn't softened enough so I try to make sure that it softens completely before I take them out so I don't want to leave them in vinegar too long but I leave them in long enough to make sure it's softened um, as much as possible but this definitely is much faster and works much better than water. So I am soaking my little quail roux here in apple cider vinegar. And as you saw, he had a very large um, clump on there. I also think this might be, um, I don't know if it's the feed or what's going on. Cause like I said, I've had quail for four years and this never happened to me before. And I've kept my quail on, um, in a pen with dirt since the very beginning. I've had them on cages and dirt. The ones in the cages, this never ever happens to with the wire bottoms. It's always the ones on dirt and sand and um, wooden floors. But it's a, definitely a new problem. You getting cold there, bud? I feel you shivering. You getting cold or are you just nervous? He's so pretty. These guys are so beautiful. These were my original quail that my hubby and I got, my late husband. So I'm pretty attached to them. 
they're very um venturian and italian are very docile quail too even if they get out of their pens you just pick them right back up they're super sweet all right are we ready to check it let's check it out because you seem to be shivering a lot so i'm gonna take him he doesn't seem to thrash as much as some of the others i'm gonna hold him see if i can keep him from thrashing turn him upside down the other thing is i usually use uh kitty clippers okay see came right off just like that softened up and came right off um i usually use kitty clippers um, nail clippers also to clip around at this sting away from their toes just in case it doesn't come right off did forget to bring those out but um you guys probably get the idea i just clip around on it a little bit so i don't have to use my fingers let's see he may have already lost a nail on this one because i don't see it it's got some feathers there too but there, it, trying to be careful. Oh yeah, he's got a little short nail in there. Okay, so that came right off, as you can see. He's all better. I, there's a little one there too. If there's little tiny ones, I leave them on there because after so soaking in the vinegar, he's gonna go back in his cage and run around. And this stuff is gonna come, I'm trying to see if I'm getting this in the camera well. Um, he's gonna go run around in the what's left on there, the tiny bit it's going to come right off. So as you can see, apple cider vinegar, I don't know, I flipped it. Uh, I'd have to go back and check the video for a couple minutes probably, and it comes right off. So check it out guys. Um, and I, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, um, and I will talk to you later.